and welcome back to another video. And today is my prediction preview for Woking versus Ebbsfleet on Tuesday night in the National League. So if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Before I get into my prediction and my preview, I just want to say a massive thank you for 400 subscribers. That's absolutely crazy. And for all the uh, Gregson fans that came over on Saturday, that's absolutely crazy. And I can't thank you enough for that. And let's try and reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. If we could do that, that'd be absolutely mental. Start by hitting that subscribe button and let's try and reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So, Woking play Ebbsfleet on Tuesday night. Both teams are uh, doing uh, pretty well in the National League. Uh, Ebbsfleet are 12th in the league, whereas Woking are 9th. Woking had a good start to the season. They went through a great form and then they lost three games in a row and then they drew a couple and then they had that amazing win against uh, Bury, which is absolutely incredible, away from home. They might not be doing 2-1 the League 1 to go to a League 1 side and win 3-0. It's absolutely incredible, and that's the magic of the FA Cup for you. Um, and in their last game, they drew to Maidenhead 1-1 at home, which is probably, you probably, they probably would have liked to get a win out of that, but um, it's still it's still a point, and ninth in the League is a great position for Woking at the end of the day. Whereas Ebbsfleet, we are currently 12th in the league and we drew and we lost 2-0 to Wrexham. Check out my match reaction, link will be in the description and in the i button. Um, I watched the uh, highlights from the game and the first goal went over the line, I can confirm that. But the second goal looks like a good challenge. Um, Bush has he's put his leg out from, ref, from the ref's, ref's angle, to be fair. It does look like a penalty, but he has won the ball and it looks like a good challenge and most of the Wrexham fans have been agreeing with me on that but overall probably Wrexham did deserve to nick it so my start 11 prediction is just to your right we've got Nathan Asher in goal uh, no questions there he is our best keeper and the defence is the same as what played against Wrexham uh, they were a bit unlucky against Wrexham probably unlucky to concede a penalty but the goal for the second one for the first one just goes over the line which is a bit unlucky maybe maybe we didn't have that luck on Saturday which we probably needed to get something out of that game. And then the midfield, we go with a, a five in it, with a, just Colson as kind of like a cam or centre forward. And on the wing, we have Weston, obviously great winger, and then Runtz is uh, taken out and Powell gets put in. Maybe to be a little bit more attacking against Woking, obviously, um, to maybe create, more few, create a few more chances for us. And then Drury, obviously, stays in the team. And then Shields comes in for Cook. Um, I think Shields sh should uh, come back into the side, obviously rotate with Cook. Um, I think he'll be fresh and I think he'll be cause problems and play balls into Kedball. And then Colson is that cam role. I think he is uh, better at that role personally as he is a great uh, passer of the ball and he drives us forward. And then Kedball up top, um, uh, I f personally thought Derek Mullen was going to rotate him more this season but he doesn't seem to be doing that so I think he'll be staying up top. Obviously he scored seven goals this season which is absolutely amazing, and that is my start alone prediction. Then on the bench, we have Miles, Bush, Rant, Cook, and Bub. My score prediction for the game is going to be 2 1 Ebbs Fleet. Obviously, Roking are a good side and have doing really well in the National League. Ninth in the league is uh, really good and played amazingly against Bury in the FA Cup. But I just have a feeling that we're going to get a bit of luck, maybe from a refereeing decision, to get us the win. And I'm going to go for Colson and Shields to score for us. And if we do win this game, it'd be absolutely massive. Um, Woking, obviously, apart from the uh, FA Cup win, haven't been doing amazingly. Uh, they did drew to Maidenhead on Saturday, who lost 3-0 to Gateshead the other week. So I think that's a little bit disappointing for them to draw. But I'm going to go for a 2-1 win, and hopefully we do get it. Now I'm going to post you over to a young Woking fan called Will, and here are his thoughts for the game on Tuesday. Hello guys, this should be a good game on Tuesday. Woking, I think, one all against Maidenhead wasn't a bad result. We should be beating Ebbsfleet really, but they're a good side. So i take a draw, but I'm going to be optimistic. I think it's going to be 2 on Woking. So that was my prediction preview for Woking versus Ebbsfleet. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do like and subscribe as I will be vlogging the game on Tuesday. It should be a good game and hopefully you do enjoy the vlog. So check it out on Tuesday and I'll see you later.